There were 12 new players and well, we can't expect um, them to just to be like that overnight. I think uh, if I look at it correctly, this is the, 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 the second game after after the Wednesday game, the, the second game together and look, I'm not uh, taking anything away from them. They will gel. They will gel this thing, but, but well, um, at home, you know, you can't afford to be dropping points like that. But it's still early to, to get out here to play to, to the final battle and everything like that. But I think the wrong way from home was not in the, was the, in the right direction. Everything is fine in the team coach, the camp, everything. No, in camp, yeah, well, well look at it. We, like I said, we still got new, new guys. They're still adapting to the, to the, the way the team is run and everything like that. I mean, I think we will be okay. How, how is life at Murukule coach? I know you are new there also. <laughs> no, no, everything is alright. Uh... We choose to acknowledge that you have gone. We choose to say that there is nothing that is too difficult for you. This moment may be difficult for God, for us, but Father, you are God. You remain God. You are seated on the throne. Lord Jesus, we honor you our King, our Redeemer, our Savior. We return the glory to you this morning. Thank you for this vessel that you've given us, Lord. My Father, it is you who gives and you take back. Thank you, Father, oh God, for the blessing and the gift that it was to all of us as we continue to hear testimonies. Father, thank you. Thank you for a friend that you gave me to journey with him, oh God. Thank you for the lessons and the strength that I gained, oh God, by journeying with you. Father, today I've just come to say thank you as you have called him back home. Father, it is your will. I prayed, others prayed, you heard our prayers, but you still chose to allow him to come home. Therefore, let your will be done. Father, we are grateful. We return all the glory to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. We may be seated. I'm just going to. Hello, everyone. It is with broken hearts that we announce the death of Coach Gumbo, who died after two days after being sacked by his team, which he loved the most, Malupole Wonders. Malupole Wonders went and posted an official communique regarding his dispatch or his sacking. After that, investigation is ongoing to know what really caused him. Coach Rahman Gumbo died after being sacked by Malpole Wonders two days after the incident. It is reported that he collapsed in Palapi and later died in Florence town from a suspected death attack. The reports also said that the Zimbabwean coach was also coached. His country national team suffered several medical instances and conditions, though it is presumed that he received medication and he became well. Condolences are still flooding social media from around the world to his family and to the Zimbabwe community where his body was found back to receive a pronounced and honorable burial. Very many people flogged the funeral and also sent their tributes to his family. There was official communication from Malpole wonders where they announced his death by saying it is with sadness and heavy hearts that we announce the passing of coach Rahman Gumbo. He has passed on yesterday evening at Francis Town Academy Hospital after a short illness. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family of Mr. Gumbo, his loved ones and the entire football family during this difficult time. May he so rest in eternal peace. That was the official communication which was posted by 
Molpole wonders. He also sent our condolences to his family and also to the football fraternity of Zimbabwe. Rest in peace.